Oh, good morning. Hi, Kathy. What the、uh, morning? This is wow. This is quite the surprise. You have such a lovely friend, dear. We've been chatting all morning. Oh, I have no doubt. She's quite the talker. This one. You sleep even longer here than you do back home. Oh, gee, must be the blissful lack of distractions here. E, can I talk to you for a sec outside, alone? Okie dokie. If your grandmother doesn't mind being left all by herself for a while. Sure. You go ahead, children. I'll be right here if you need me. Is the concept of personal boundaries new to you? That's a rhetorical question, right? Was a single morning devoid of Eileen too much to ask? I'm frankly surprised that I'm allowed bathroom breaks by myself with you in the same building. I was super bored. Besides, you never got back home last night. I wanted to make sure you were okay. Well, as you can plainly see, I'm not a corpse. You could be a very convincing zombie. Very funny. You can go home now, E. Fine. I won't tell you what I found in my research yesterday. Then. Ugh, I hate you. I'm so glad you asked. I looked up a few statistics for this county, looking for any anomalies. First off, there's a high number of missing persons reports in the area. That wouldn't be too unusual if, let's say, the county had a high crime rate. But it doesn't. Violent crimes are actually lower than in other comparable counties. Huh? That's just outright creepy. It gets even better. It turns out that this county has the highest number of clinically insane in the state. And guess what? Conwell Springs County is tiny per capita. The difference to the county in second place is humongous, over a thousand percent. That makes some sense. I found out that this cocky person is locked tight at Ingstrom's. Wow, we should go talk to him, right? He must have some answers. That's the plan. I should probably fill you in on the rest I found. So I'm gonna head over there today and confront Isaac about the paintings. Don't you think it's a bit risky, Kathy? It could just backfire and piss him off. Oh, I'm hoping it will. Nothing wrong with some good old provocation to make people show their true colors. You never gave him the picture of the lights, right? Nah, didn't want the guy to faint. He sounded pretty brainwashed about the Holy Trinity thing. And none of the church people know who I am, right? I guess not. So, my point is that you grilled the priest good yesterday. You already tried it your way. I'm a fellow Christian. Maybe I could try something different, like make up a cute cover story and pretend to want to join their church. If he still won't trust me, I can show him my copy of the picture. Maybe it will make him open up. I suppose it would give me enough time to drive back to the city and talk to Jimmy before it gets too late. Yay! Oh, let's do it! I'm so excited. I can't wait to lie to people. You know that's a sin, right? Oh, I'm sure Jesus will make an exception this time. After all, he loves me. I'm not going to waste any time then. Let's catch up on the phone tonight. Okie dokie. Talk to you later. Hello, Jimmy. I've been looking for you. Oh, is it for real this time? Yes, this is all very real. So you're going to ask me about Joseph now? How do you know that? Who told you? You did. Every time you came here. You're not making any sense, Jimmy. We've never met before. I'm making perfect sense. Everyone says so. I'm the sharpest tool in the shed. All bets are off now, Missy. Better buckle up and enjoy the ride. Forget all the rules. No going from top to bottom. No checking off all the items on your list. Start by asking me about the young chronicler. What do you know about the man in red? No, that's not the chronicler. What happened to you, Jimmy? Why are you in this place? No, that's not the chronicler. I don't need to show him. 
What can you tell me about the Church of the Holy Trinity? No. Do you know what happened to my grand? No. Was Lily Myers the chronicler? The drowned girl, yes. She saw the loops, the endless possibilities. She found that the branches had all been severed. Nothing but inevitability remained, staring her right in the eye. In the end, she was pulled across the great threshold, just like I was. I was next. Next for what? You're not listening. I'm next. Hey, I'd like to show you something. No, that doesn't happen yet. What do you know about the man in red? No, that... What happened to you, Jimmy? Why are you in this place? I'm not. I'm six feet under, looking up, watching reruns without a care in the world. You know, Joseph was a beacon. His passing sent ripples traveling in all directions, touching all of us with burning intensity. In my case, resulting in immobilizing guilt. After all, I sent him out there. It was all my fault. What was? What did you ask him to do? Be patient. We'll get there eventually. We need to follow the rules. Let's continue, ironically, with the men who break the rules. I don't need to show... You mean the black hats? They're the men who break the rules? Indeed. Your father broke every rule in the book, did he not? That's a mild way of putting it. I feel your pain, but you will be free of him soon enough. I've seen you atop a great pit, dropping the last remaining memento of him into the empty blackness below. Your mother, on the other hand, that's a story with a different ending. You know m Mom? How... how is she? Why don't you see her yourself and find out? It's complicated. Last time we met was... ugly. Looking away won't make it any less ugly, Kathy. I know, just not yet. Very well. Let's go see the man you reunited with his family. What happened to you, Jimmy? No. The man in- Yes, indeed. Who is he, really? The collector of souls. The one who beckons and prepares. Some call him a spirit guide. Others, a devil dressed in red. You are doing so much better than the last time. Now, ask me about the first thing you can think of. I don't need to show him that. What is so special about Lily Meyer's art? No, that's not the first thing. What can you tell me about the Church of the Holy Trinity? No! What is so special? No! Do you know? No! What happened to my grand- Oh, poor Joseph. Wrong place, wrong time, wrong friends, wrong life. An unstoppable force meeting an immovable object. There had to be course correction, Kathy. The house always wins. What did you ask him to do? I asked him to find the source and destroy it. For me, for Lily, for all of us. The source of what? Everything. The madness, the betrayals, the limitless suffering. How would he do that? I don't know. Joseph had a plan. He had allies. Allies? Who? The man in red. Someone else, too. I found the message you left for Grandpa. You said, it happened to you too. What did? Meeting the lights, of course. Don't you have my picture from the night in the forest? You mean this? Oh, yes. They felt so warm, so comfortable luring me in. But when they got close, 
I could feel my mind split in two. I found myself with one foot on either side of the line, the thin line between hell and here. It felt like breathing through my nose with my mouth underwater. No wonder some sink beneath the surface, never to be heard from again. Was that what happened to Joseph, Jimmy? Did he sink to the bottom? I wish I knew. I'm just a man stuck with his ear up against the wall, picking up a word here and there. I am so tired, Kathy. I can feel the lights even now. Endless static in my head, like a TV tuned to a dead channel. But what are they? Where do they come from? The Cradle of Obscurity. The Alpha to our Omega. The Distorted Mirror. Why are you constantly speaking in riddles? Why do you assume I have a choice? We are nearing the end. Ask me about the misguided faithful. Is the Church of the Holy Trinity the misguided faithful? They are, yes. What makes you call them that? Isn't it obvious? They believe the lights are divine. The lights are neither divine nor unholy. They are but a twisted reflection of us. The judge and the jury are innermost child, our greatest fear, everything we long for and desire. It's more than most of us can take. The cup runneth over. How do I stop them? You must go to their birthplace, their source. You must go to the cradle. It's the only way to save your friend. What? Are you talking about Eileen? Yes, she is being claimed. She's in great danger. You have to go back, Kathy. Nurse! I need more than that, Jimmy. <laughs> Nurse, help! I need to find Eileen. Oh, No point, there's no one there to answer. Mind if we talk for a bit, Gra Not at all. Grandma, have you seen Eileen since this morning? I'm afraid not. What's the matter? Hopefully nothing. I'm just trying to find her. I see. Let me know if... Well, gotta go, Grandma. Bye, I really shouldn't. They might burn. Could lead to a sa- A small cabinet with a lock on it. Nope, not the right key books on spirituality and theology. 
a photo of a younger father, Bill, with two boys, probably Isaac and his brother. A closet, definitely large enough for a corpse or two. Oof, no corpses, just a bunch of priest outfits in there. Nothing interesting in the pockets either. Locked. Found a large old key in here. Hey, what are you doing in here? Cut the bullcrap! Where is she? Where's Eileen? What in the Lord's name are you talking about? Red-haired girl, I know she came here to see you. Tell me where she is, or I'm calling the cops. I don't think that's quite necessary. Breaking and entering, are we? You don't understand. My friend has been kidnapped. Funny story. Hands behind your back. Now! Ugh, you gotta be kidding me. You better hope that Father Price doesn't press charges. I want my phone call. <laughs> Can't hear you in there. You are such a fucking prick. Enjoy your little vacation. I know I will. Well, this blows. And I smell like goober. Fan-fucking-tastic. I need to get out of here. Who knows what that freak is doing to Eileen right now? Okay, now what? I don't see how those things worked. Locked tight. Where's... Solid steel. There's no way I can make as much as a scratch. What a tiny TV. That action doesn't seem... I don't see how... Not a bad idea, but it's just out of reach. Hmm, worth a shot. Oops! These paper clips might be useful. Okay, let's see if I still got it. Not perfect, but they should get the job done. I'm so good. What a tiny TV. Rest in peace, board. You've served. Okay, got all my things back. The key I found in the church, too. Huh? Hoax in jar. An inkier heart. Me, nemesis. What the hell? That was creepy, whatever it was. Too heavy to carry around.
Good thing the bike was still where I left it. Locked. I should search the office instead. I don't think there's anything useful in here. I've searched that Nothing unusual, just a schedule of typical church events. Just old furniture and boxes filled with random junk. William T. Price. So that's Father Bill. Looks more like a businessman than a cult leader. I wonder what the church was like back when Father Bill was in charge. Nope, not the right key. It's old and rusty. There's something inscribed starting with P-R. The rest is unintelligible. I did what you asked, Father, but something is different about this one. It's not taking like it should. She may be protected. Yes, we'll just have to wait and see. More souls, then. Yes, they all deserve to bask in the glory of God. Hey, what's that? Eat this! Eileen? Snap out of it! No, God, it's happening again! Just like it did with Grandpa! What did he do to you? He had a key on him. Let's get these ropes off of you. Wake up, E. That should do it. I better go get help before he comes to. She's catatonic, breathing but unresponsive, just like Grandpa.
Joshua David Price, born June 8, 1961, died September 5, 1983. Isaac's brother, perhaps? William Thomas Price, born February 13, 1931, died October 21, 1983. Father Bill himself. Agatha Price, born November 13, 1899, died July 17, 1979. Barbara Price, born July 19, 1921, died January 4, 1979. Arthur Price, born April 11, 1918, died December 4, 1982. Isaac Jeremiah Price, born March 3, 1959. The death date is left blank. That grave is blank. Probably Henrietta Ann Price, born April 22nd, 1933, died May 4th, 1981. Father Bill's wife? Ernest Edward Price, born December 20th, 1898, died May 8th, 1973. All right, we'll take it from here. Should we bring, what's her name, to the clinic? Eileen, and no, she's not physically hurt. It's just shock, that's all. I'll take care of her. Please, just drop us off at Grandma's. All right, then, but don't think you're off the hook for that stunt you pulled at the station. Considering the circumstances, I'm going to refrain from hauling your ass back to that cell. But you better not leave town until we've sorted all this out, or you can look forward to a statewide APB. Got it? That's more than fair, Sheriff. Thanks. Good. Come by the station when you've dropped off your friend. We'll need to take your statement. I will. It's my fault this has happened to her. No, it's not. You know exactly who's to blame. That vile man behind bars or whoever is pulling his strings. Go there, find out what he knows, and get to the bottom of this. It's too late for Joseph, but maybe she still has a chance. Well, I'm sure as hell not going to wait here for her to rot away. Good. She'll be safe with me. All right, then. I'm off. She's burning up. She's fighting it, whatever it is. Looks like the rain finally stopped. Hey, you're back. I am. You guys want my statement? Yeah, the sheriff is waiting for you. All right. Let's talk, Sheriff. And that's when I found that creep with her tied up in the crypt. Jesus. I had my suspicions about that church, but I never thought it went this deep. Yeah. So, what happens now? I'll call the judge and get a warrant. If we find anything else, that bastard won't get away with it. Okay. Can I go talk to him? Go ahead. Ask Lenny to go with you if you need him. Will do. Thanks, Sheriff. Think nothing of it. Huh, very funny. He's where he belongs. Hello again, my child. I hope you enjoy that cell as much as I did. For a man of faith, this is a room fit for a king. Speak what you will, I have all the time in the world. 
I don't need to show that to him. Tell me what you did to my friend, Isaac. I offered her to God, and the Lord accepted her with open arms. She is part of his world now. You're not talking about a Christian God. Of course not. I'm talking about the old God, slumbering in the darkness beyond. What are you saying? You offered Eileen's soul to this God of yours? She is but one of many. I guided them all to the stairs of judgment. Wait, so you were responsible for all those people disappearing? Going crazy? All I did was bring them face to face with God. If they chose to reject him, they were beyond redemption. Who is the man dressed in red? No one that concerns the likes of you. Wait, so you do know something about him? Certainly, but that knowledge is not to be shared with unbelievers. What is your church really about, Isaac? What are you trying to accomplish? The same as any other church. All we want is the salvation of mankind. By any means necessary? Clearly kidnapping isn't out of the question. A necessary evil. I look at the bigger picture, the greater good. One day you'll understand. You are quite obviously brainwashed. I'll stop you, if it's the last thing I do. You can try, child. I have God on my side. Why did you have Lily Meyer's painting stolen? Because Charles Wade isn't a man keen on sharing. Ugh, fine. Let me put it this way. Why did you try to get your hands on the paintings? Lily was special in God's eyes. A chronicler, a bestower of wisdom. As an emissary of God, it was my duty to unlock the divine knowledge in her work for all of mankind. What do you really know about Lily Myers? Oh, the drowned girl is a conundrum. In life, part prophet, part mender. In death, ascended, united with the holy conduit. Did you have something to do with what happened to my grandfather? Alas, I did not. At the time, I wasn't enlightened, and neither was my father. But Grandpa showed the same symptoms as Eileen. Then he was claimed by God, without my guidance. Praise him. You know something about this flower, don't you? Oh, yes, a link to the divine. They help by preparing the body for unity with God. So, you've drugged people with it? Such a crude choice of words. It has been one component of my sacred work, yes. I don't need to show that to him. What do you see in this photo? The sign of God. The conduit. Conduit of what? Oh, you'll know soon enough. I could, but I'd rather not tip him off before I know what this key opens. I don't need to show that. I don't need to show. I don't need to show. I'd love nothing more, but I need to. I'm done here. Good. Now go repent, sinner. Nothing else in there. Brilliant idea. Too heavy to carry around. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? They already arrested Isaac. There's nothing more to say. I probably shouldn't. He might ask. I already asked. Huh. As fun as it would be to rub my escape in his face, it would only get me into more trouble. I don't want to sh Well, gotta go. See ya.
a small key with a tag attached labeled Storage A5. Maybe there's a self-storage facility in town. It looks a lot like the key I found in the attic. Maybe they're somehow related. This must open some kind of storage unit. Nope. Locked. Nope. Hey, these keys are almost identical. They must open different storage units in the same facility. Not a bad idea, but it's not a tumbler lock. Impressive window. There's no doubt about it. The Ernest Edward Price, born to Henrietta Ann Price, Father Bill's. I don't see how those. Th that grave is blank. That grave. That grave. That grave. Isaac Jeremiah Price, born March 3rd, the death date is left. Just a bunch of boxes. They look sturdy enough. Wouldn't be able to break them open without... That combination make... That combination... That doesn't... I have better things to do than trying to... Hello, Sheriff. Oh. I probably shouldn't. I probably... They already arrested Isaac. There's nothing... I don't need to ask. That's all for now. Good.
I have more things to say to you. Speak what you will, godless one. I don't need to ask him that now. I'm done here. Good. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Cap. Nah, I don't want... Well, gotta go. See? Anybody home? Guess not. Locked. Hmm. Looks empty now. Yet another burial ground for those sweet, addictive... Looks like they barely touched the food. It's an early painting by Lily Myers. Very lifelike. <laughs> Looks like they barely touched. Nice view of the lake from here. It doesn't belong to me. I don't want to. Oh, gee, I would. Any change? Sadly not. There are a few things I need to ask you. Very well, dear. I don't see a reason to ask. I don't need to show. I don't need to. I don't need. I don't need. Okay, that's all I. Good luck, guys. Huh. It would be kind of funny to see her reaction. Okay, there's a place in town. Got the address, I should head over there.
Storage A5. This is it. Storage A6. Storage A7. The door is opened by... Aha! Just some old newspapers in those. Nothing useful. Empty. Found a tape in there. There's also something else. A custody appeal form for me? July 15th, 1981? I don't believe it. He... He tried to get me back from my mom. Right to the very end. Pull yourself together, Kathy. So that's where Grandpa's old uniform went. I wondered why I didn't see it in the attic. This is Joseph Rain. Operation Log, Part 4. August 8th, 1981. The area appears to be circular with... ...along the outer perimeter. I've determined that some kind of endothermic reaction is taking place. So it's important to be observant of changes in temperature. Find the source by severing the link. Perhaps I can save them. Jimmy and all the others. Reoccurring dream. I'm standing in front of a huge black hole in a clearing in the woods. There's a man dressed in red urging me to jump. I'm afraid to, but I take the plunge anyway. For some reason, I don't think I have anything to lose. As I'm falling, I reach for the parachute cord, but to my horror, there's nothing there. That's when I wake up. Where is it? Was he trying to uncover something in these paintings? I guess he felt compelled to tell the world how hard he was looking for something. Lunatic. A bottle of paint thinner. This might come in handy. I 
don't believe this. They're ruined. He must have used that paint thinner on the paintings. That means there's only a single painting left. The one in the cabin. I'll just borrow this for a while. The temperature looks normal here. This thing should come in handy if I need to track temperature. I don't think I need to... That combination. Sorry, Sue. A hidden picture. Oh my god, that's Nathan. He's holding a girl underwater. It must be Lily. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Lily wrote a suicide note, so either she planned this or foresaw it. Nathan is drowning Lily in the lake. I already did that. That company. Nathan? Yes? I know about Lily, Nathan. I like Lily. Nathan, tell me what happened the day Lily died. I don't know. It's okay, Nathan. I'm a friend. I know the Red Man, too. You... you do? Yes. He told me to ask you about what happened to Lily. He said that you would tell me the truth, because you are honest. You're honest. Aren't you, Nathan? Lily was angry that time. Angry and sad. Mostly angry. Angry with you? Angry with everybody. Mama was asleep, Papa too. Okay, what happened next? Lily wanted to go down to the lake. She told me to hold her under the water for a while. She said I had to. She had painted it, and everything she painted was supposed to happen. I, I didn't want to, but Lily said she would tell Mama that I was bad if I didn't. But the Red Man says it was an accident, and that Lily is in a better place. It's okay, Nathan. Lily was sick. It's not anyone's fault. When did you first meet the Red Man? I don't know. I, I see him in the woods sometimes. He and Lily always fought. They did? Uh, about what? He wanted Lily to take her medicine. What kind of medicine? Pills to make her less sad and angry? I don't know. Just medicine. But you know what? It's okay. I still talk to her all the time. You talk to Lily? And she talks back? Yes. Take me to her, Nathan. Take me to Lily. You promise not to tell Mama? I won't. I promise. Take me there. Okay. See? <sighs> Get away from them, Nathan. They're dangerous. 
<laughs> no, they're nice. Look. Maybe they can't affect him for some reason. Poor little Menda met her end. Witnessed so much she could not comprehend. Claimed by the lake, she screamed to her god, struggled for air as she twisted and clawed. But all was in vain, and her cries went unheard. Twas a heartbreaking theater of the absurd. <coughs> there, there, you're being dramatic. No pain, no gain. At least that color looks good on you. Astute observation, Bill. This room does hold the key. Well then, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Jesus. Nathan? How long was I out? hidden safe. There's also a poem here written by Father Bill. I copied it to my notepad. I'm sure there's a hidden meaning in this, but I think I'm missing something in order to make sense of it. I'm sure that I'm sure. The temperature looks normal. I'm sure. That Electronic safe with a new. I could always try guessing. Most people use numbers they can relate to, like important. Six digit code. Good to know. There's a poem here, written
In the text, Father Bill's family members are used as reference points. Could he be referring to the physical layout of the graves? I copy the grave layout to my notebook next to the poem. Okay, these graves must somehow correspond to Father Bill's poem. Let's see if I can figure it out. Center, above, below. Is he defining reference points on some kind of shape? I think I should figure out the pre- Center, above, below. Is he defining reference points on some kind of sh- Center, 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 above, below. Ernest Edward Price, born December 20th, 1898, died May 8th, 1970. Henrietta Ann Price, Father Bill's wife. Center above. Center, center, up, center, center, up, center, 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 above, below. Is he defining reference points on some kind of shape? Center, above. Center, above. Center above Center No, that connection doesn't make sense to me. No, that No, that connect. Center above, below. Is he defining reference points on some kind of shape? The temperature looks normal. 